the man I'm about to introduce has studied success for 30 years and has come to share some of those secrets with you. Michael, of course, is a legend and uh, he gave us an opportunity to think a lot about uh, the things that you can do with optimism, with obsession, uh, and uh, the opportunities to make yourself uh, the leader in your field, whatever it may be. There were three qualities present in all super successful people, 100 times out of 100. Magico number one, obsession. Every super successful person, anyone who you respect, dead or alive, has a quality present in them that is more than ambition. This quality of obsession is something deeper, richer, more primal, more intense. It is something that I might describe as a burning, maniacal rage, as if your life depended on it. Number two, optimism. But it is an unusual form of optimism in this way. It was an optimism born after a militant need to face the brutal facts. However, our super successful friends came to conclude though the game is not easy and though the game is not fair, the game with enough burning maniacal rage and focus is winnable. Though not easy and though not fair. The smartest thing ever said to me on the subject of optimism was said to me by General Colin Powell in six words. That's pretty impressive. Try being profound in six words. Try that sometime. Perpetual optimism is a force multiplier. And what I think the general meant by that is, because he's a military general, if you take 10 men and you saturate them in an environment of optimism, those 10 men can fight with the force of 50. If you take the same 10 men, you put them in an environment, you saturate them with negativity, they can't fight with the force of two. Perpetual optimism is a force multiplier. Number three, obligation. Our super successful friends had a weird, wacky relationship with responsibility. They were super responsible. Their word was their bond, particularly to themselves. So if you're sitting here tonight and I say, you got a plan? Son, you got a plan? And you say, I do. And son, if it's not written, you don't have a plan. You got a bunch of fun ideas floating around your pretty head. So you think you got a plan. You, if it's not written, son, you don't have a plan. They didn't say, next year I'm going to lose some weight. They said eight pounds July 4th. You see the difference? What's the one thing that you could take away from today? If there was just one thing, what would that be? Um, to step my game up. <laughs> no matter how good it is, step it up. Success is something we all are always striving for, so it's a great talk. I was really um, impressed with the talk. It was amazing. So just that phrase, there's an advantage in disadvantage, is something I'm never going to forget. And he actually consulted with three presidents of the United States. So, and he's written 19 books. So this is a guy that is well known, very famous, and has represented Hollywood's elite. The success uh, speech from Michael was pretty significant and uh, near and dear to some things that I'm, that I'm personally uh, thinking about. The obsession and the passion for something. So really getting that and moving toward obligation, it was just, was incredible, really inspiring.